Hi, I'm Minister Ralph Friedrichs. Making a difference is my belief. Here's my challenge to everyone. I just want to challenge everyone, a challenge I'm also trying to live out. No matter how busy you are, there is always something you can do to brighten someone's day. Give someone a hug. Send a text with an inspiring quote. Friends, mail a heartfelt card. Tell someone how much you appreciate him or her. If we look, each day presents us with opportunities to share kindness throughout the world. My core belief is that we are called to not only love God and love people, but to carry out the Great Commission and share the eternal message of Jesus Christ. My goal is to help you reimagine your life and let go of the thoughts and behaviors that undermine you so that a renewed and fulfilled you can emerge starting today. We must love one another as God loves each and every one of us. To be able to love, we, my friends, need a clean heart. Prayer is what gives us a clean heart. The fruit of prayer is deepening of faith and the fruit of faith is love. I hope each and every one of you remember to show compassion and have a, a great life ahead of you with Jesus Christ. Good morning. My name is Ralph Fridukes. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, a minister, and host of this show. Take your life back today. Radio show so you can see a video version. If you go to YouTube under a channel, take your life back today. Show the sense on iHeartRadio, iTunes, Google Music, and Amazon Music, and other areas. Meanwhile, Korah had stirred up the entire nation against Moses and Aaron, and they all assembled to watch. Then the glory of Jehovah appeared uh, to all the people in Numbers 16, 19. Friends, in number 16, a man named Korah led a conspiracy to re uh, rebel against the leadership of Moses. Korah was jealous of Moses and uh, started uh, sowing discord. Eventually, this one uh, disgruntled man turned the whole nation against Moses and led to disastrous consequences. There's nothing that God dislikes more than people that bring division within each other. If there's something that you don't like about your workplace, your friends, or your church, go to the people in charge and express your concerns. Don't go behind their backs and start sowing discord, trying to get others on board. Friends, are you letting someone sow discord in your life right now? Causing you to be bitter, discontent, and jealous towards other people. Don't sit there inactive while they try to convince you of everything that's wrong with your workplace, with your spouse, with your life. Disconnect from them and don't let their poison uh, don't let their poison into your spirit. You have to uh, be bold and say no. That's not for me. Don't get on the Korai side. Stay on God's side starting today. Let's pray. Father, thank you for such clear word of uh, 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 warning and guard my heart against discontent and division. Help me to honestly evaluate my relationships and make changes where there is discord. Help me to disconnect from anyone who sows discord and gossip and finds faults in other people. In your name I pray this. Amen. Call me at 844-405. Help together. You and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. Remember, simple smile on anyone. And change your day. Make a difference in your day as well. Do not be part of that uh, discord and, and uh, put troubles and division within people. Be the part that follows God and serves God. May God bless you and have a great life with Jesus Christ, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.